This is the entrance to the concentration camp, the main gate. The words mean work brings freedom, which of course had brought nothing but death in most cases. This is the other side of the gate, which in 1933, when the camp was built, was anything but pleasant. And this is a typical structure now that they built throughout the camp. The, camp, the buildings were used for different things, everything from gas chambers to housing the Nazis. Background is a turret. And again, another turret and fence on the left-hand side. Typical structures built. Camp. Again, you can see the enormity of this uh, concentration camp. Over 200 souls went through this camp, of which 43,000 died. This is a typical barrack, reconstructed. What you see there as we pan across is uh, foundations for uh, the barracks that were there at one time. Background another turret. This is the road between the two uh, barracks on each side, a guard tower in the back. You can see what this looks like in the next picture. This is what it looked like when the concentration camp was in full force. This is inside where they had showers. They were actually showers, not uh, gas chambers. This is a torture device that the Nazi used, tied a prisoner down and beat him with that stick. This is a reconstructed barracks. If you notice, they're three high. And this is what the prisoners looked like from 33 to uh, the 40s. Another picture on the inside of the barracks. Very inhumane. This is a moat, an electric fence. On the other side of the electric fence were guard dogs. No one escaped to my knowledge. This is the entrance to the gas chamber. This is the gas chamber, which I understand was only used a few times by the Nazis, I guess, for special prisoners. This is a crematorium where they burnt the bodies. Another picture of the crematorium. This is what the camp looked like when the Allies liberated it. Another picture of when the Allies liberated the camp. May we not forget the poor souls that lived and died there. Amen.